Holy mother forking shirt balls. That was practically my reaction to God of War when I first played it. The game is amazing. Also, this review is full of spoilers, so huge spoiler warning. And here I'm going in to talk about some pros, cons, and things I would have done differently. There's a lot of pros to this game. This is easily one of the best games I've ever played. And that's coming from a person who's played many great games and many bad games and many average games. This game just set a good standard for gameplay for me. And I'm not a person who typically likes games that aren't third person shooters. And this game blew my mind away. The, the fighting, the combat is so smooth. I know some people complain that there's a little bit too many villain, like too many enemies that are the same, but that didn't bug me. And then onto other aspects, the acting and the story is really great. Even the kid, kids usually in video games, I'm gonna be honest, they're extremely annoying. For the most part, I can think of so many kids in video games that are, well, and don't get me wrong, there is good kids in video games too. Well, you have Clementine from The Walking Dead, Ellie from The Last of Us, Sam from The Last of Us, Liv from The Last of Us too. We have good characters, and then we have Duck from The Walking Dead Season 1, we have Jack Marston, there's many annoying kids in video games too. So for for the game to rely on a little kid, it was a lot to ask, and especially because the kid's not voiced by like a 40 year old woman. So the kid did good, which is usually I think honestly I kind of didn't find him too annoying. There was one section he was annoying, that was really more of a character development thing. But I mean, other than that, I mean, all the acting was good. I really, my favorite character is probably between Mimir and Freya. I loved Freya in this game. She really gave that whole what it's like to be a mom and what you would do for your kid regardless of your if your kid's a total jerk or not. It just really worked. Baldur was a great villain. Love him as a villain. Great villain. Honestly, the second I saw him on screen, I was like, this is a cool boss fight. This is amazing. The intro is just so good. The um, fight scenes are amazing too. I love the dragons and I love the boss battles. Most games I either dread boss battles or I just don't find them fun or they're just overhyped. It's just, I feel like boss battles are a hit or miss in games. This game nailed every boss battle ever. I also got to say that the whole concept, I'm not really into like, like stories about like the Greek gods and stuff, but this game nailed it. They made Kratos feel like a human. They made Atreus feel like a, a human too, and they made this weird dynamic between the two that made the game so much more meaningful. I thought it was an amazing story. I loved it, and the gameplay was so fluid. It's usually you don't typically get that, and I don't really have too many complaints about the gameplay. There's only I only I don't I honestly don't have any. The gameplay is practically. I don't- there's nothing wrong with it. There's some enemy types that are- get annoying though, um, the one where the, like, witch- the sort of witch, I forgot what they're called, but they teleport. That got annoying. But I meant, aside from that, most of the bot- like, enemy types are pretty fun to beat around and stuff, and, it can, like, having a trace as a designated button is really cool, because it adds to the story too, that part where he's being a little, like, brat. He, he doesn't listen to you, and I think it was really cool how, like, the gameplay and the story is so intertwined together. And I honestly wish there was more of that, because there's some games where it doesn't feel like the gameplay and story really fit together. This game, the gameplay and story fit together. Teaching Atreus how to use an arrow really well, and then watching him kill his first human. And you just feel this whole, like, this kid's growing up in a harsh world. And then with Kratos, you feel this sense of he has to let himself go and be the parent he needs to be because there's parts where Atreus will do some iffy things or annoying things and Kratos has to step in and tell him, no, this isn't the way we work. It's a really cool dynamic. I love this game. Every aspect of this story is amazing. Every part of the gameplay is nearly flawless and I just love it so much. Now in terms of cons, I really only have one huge con. When you beat the game, the trays will constantly sit there. Uh, are we lost? I think we're lost or something like that. He also constantly tells you where to go. Where to explore and what to do. 
Why is that annoying? Because this is an open world game. If this was a linear game, I don't think it would annoy me as much. Because there's only one way to go. But when you want to explore, I want to explore. It's open world. I could do when and what I want. And to be constantly being told to where I'm going and when I need to go, that gets annoying. But I mean, honestly, if that's my only real problem with the game, I don't really have too many. That's that's pretty good. There's a lot of games where there's a lot more cons than just that. But that's my only con. That's the only thing that really bugged me. I just wanted to go where I wanted without him telling me. But that's it. That's all I have for cons. Now, obviously, I'm not going to waste your time. There's nothing I don't think I would have done better. The game is pretty good. There's nothing too much to add on. One thing I do want to say what's kind of cool that I never think would work in films is the no-cut camera. The camera smoothly zooms in to the like action, like when you're playing, and smoothly goes into a cutscene. Charted 4 did it, and The Last of Us 2 did it, and I wish more games would do it. It feels so more immersive, but that's not for this game. This game doesn't really have what I would do better. This game's practically flawless, like I said before. That's pretty much all I have to say about this review. Anyways, toodles. Enjoy me dying to a Valkyrie. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, goodbye. Okay. On, Take lover. two. Take two. I was I was close. I was close. Oh my goodness. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. I can do this. I can do this. Just gotta get better at dodging.